Coming in low and smooth. Still nothing from the surface? Nick, surface to your combat drop until further notice. Understood, Marlowe. We're... What the hell? Unknown vessel detected. Shit, it just appeared out of nowhere. Molly, you reading this? Get the kid on his feet. He's out cold. Rookie. Rookie, you still with us? Come on, Private. Let's get you on your feet. Okay, listen up. We have a potential xenomorph infestation here. That's right. A bug hunt. So make sure you nail your targets at a distance. Molecular acid can be a real son of a bitch. Take a look inside. Sir, we're ready to begin. How old do you think it is? 10,000? 100,000? <clears throat> Mr. Wayland? Yes. Begin the breaching procedure. That's the last of them. Commencing specimen retrieval. Send in the combat androids. Mark it up for the program.
Wild Killer. This one's an old friend. Secure the specimen for off-world transportation. Private, glad to meet you, finally. I've been monitoring your progress. I knew you'd make it this far. You're a survivor, like the hunters that once ruled this planet. Like the xenomorphs they stalk. Like me. It's just that I've had a lot more practice. I'll take that. Have you ever asked yourself where the Marines source their weapons? We're old friends, the Corps and I. In fact, you might say I own it. That means I own you. And when a corporate asset is no longer of use, I dispose of it. Deal with them.
We, uh, have the data pad, sir. No complications. Yes. The live specimen is secure. Transmitting data pad contents. Now. This has been a high cost operation. Let us hope my predecessor's faith in it was justified. It's everything we'd hoped. Worth waiting centuries for. The coordinates to the Xenomorph homeworld.
think hard. Make sure you don't leave anything out. I've told you everything I know. Are you completely sure? I don't know where the message is. Get the bag off the other one. How are your faculties, Corporal? I asked you a question. I heard you. Give him another. That would be ill-advised, sir. He can take it. Corporal Dwayne Hicks. TQ40482152. One five E nine. That's all you get. We both know that's not true. I want to talk to you about the events that led us to where we are now. What the hell did you give me? Incentive. You killed everyone on that planet. Unfortunately, by the time we had received Burke's transmission and arrived at LV four twenty six, the atmospheric processor had already gone critical. All of the xenomorphic specimens were destroyed. Fortunately, the crashed alien ship and her precious cargo were left unscathed by the explosion. When we discovered that Lieutenant Ripley, the child, and yourself had escaped LV-426 on board the Sulaco... Her name was Newt. It was Rebecca, actually. We diverted the research transport vessel Legato and its cargo outbound from LV-426 to intercept the Sulaco and provide assistance. Tie up your loose ends. It's all relative. Yeah? How'd that turn out? I hear it didn't go so well. has dropped way below a critical threshold. I don't think my safety's a top priority. The loss of the Legato was unfortunate. So many specimens. There were families aboard that ship. I said it was unfortunate. It's only unfortunate that you lost your specimens. On the contrary, lucky for you, some managed to escape. Didn't they? Is this it? It looks like the right sequence. Run the full cycle. We don't want him to go into shock. I think this is it. Anything yet? That's it. He's coming too. Listen up! Uh, Corporal! Corporal Hicks! We got you! Just a few more seconds for the cycle to finish. No! Hang on, Corporal! Whoa! I got you. Check the chamber. Guys, we got company! Stasis interrupted. 
fire and cryogenic compartment. in cryogenic compartment. Launch will commence in T minus 20 seconds. No! No! Nothing else can be done here. Now you can bet they're sending something more than these piss ants to find out what just went down. Corporal, we need to go. Ripley. Corporal, I know you've got a lot to come to grips with right now. But where is the rest of your crew? You're looking at it. And yeah, you could say that. Last thing I remember is going into hypersleep after losing my entire unit and escaping a planet overrun with monsters straight out of your worst nightmares. Now I wake up to your smiling face. Armed men trying to kill me in one of those things. Wrapped around her face. Look, I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. But we're tethered to a boat crawling with those things as part of some corporate experiment gone bad. And they don't look to be wanting any outside eyes peering in. They're heavily armed and don't seem to have any issue killing anyone in their way. If we don't get word out, they're gonna bury this thing and all of us with it. What's your name? Samwell. Samwell Stone. Well, Stone... We're gonna need stronger firepower than this. There's a security checkpoint on the next deck. We can gear up there. Follow me. Stone! They're gone! Elizabeth? Both of them. I was too late. One of those monsters got to her. And then these corporate bastards killed them both. You can still make it out, Lisbeth. Head for- Clear. Get the message out. I don't have much time left. God damn it, they're gonna pay. They're all gonna pay. Get clear. Lisbeth, what are you gonna do? I'm blowing up the ship. Lisbeth! Lisbeth, do you read? Lisbeth! What the hell's going on? It's Lisbeth. She's planning on blowing up the Legato. Can she pull that off? She's resourceful. And she sounds pretty damn driven. If she blows that ship while we're still tethered, she'll end up taking us down with her. Meet me on the starboard weapon deck. I've got an idea. Well, looks like a two-day haul before we hit Furina. I grabbed this deck of cards from the crew quarters. Outstanding. What's this going to achieve? Think of all we could learn from it. You must let me have it. It's a magnificent specimen. No!
What a selfish act. Selfish? Throwing away all that potential. There was so much we could have learned. She sacrificed herself to put an end to this. It's only a matter of time before someone comes looking. Corporal, do not misunderstand. As far as anyone knows, the Sulaco exploded over Fury 161 and all hands were lost. Tragic. Officially, the explosion of the atmospheric processor on LV-426 laid waste to everything there. I have all the time in the world, Corporal. No one is coming because you are expendable. As for these colonists you seem to be so concerned about, dregs of humanity worthless trash, I'm providing them with the opportunity for their lives to have meaning. Lieutenant Ripley's death, a selfish act. The destruction of the legato in the hands of some angry little girl. Inconvenient. But let us be frank, Corporal, and please believe me when I say this. There is nothing sacred here. Every resource I have is expendable when it comes to ensuring the further study and development Drop the weapon. of this organism. Oops. Untie the corporal. Don't do this, doctor. Sorry, sir. I can't let this go any further. What are you talking about? You do see the hypocrisy in this coming from a man who's built his career creating weapons. Granted, and I've created some real works of art. You, my friend, you were really pushing the bounds of sanity here. I'm not gonna take part in torturing families. Corporal, let's move. This is futile. There's no getting out of this alive. No one is coming. I guess we'll have to see what can be done about that. Yep, lock me out. Can you get past security? Please. Stress call from LV-426. Get your gear, we're heading out. Rise and shine, Marines. This isn't a drill, and you aren't in Kansas anymore. On your feet, Marines. For any new recruits, I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. We responded to a distress call sent out 17 weeks ago from the USS Sulaco. Rhino 23 went in first and encountered heavy resistance. 
You were the last of the battalion to get popped out of cryo. So I don't want to hear any bitching because we let you lugheads sleep in late. Get combat ready, and I'll see you in the hangar in 20 mics. Name and rank? Corporal Christopher Winter, 118th Battalion aboard the USS Sephora. Corporal Winter, I'm sending in Rhino 2 1 to reinforce 2 3. How are you feeling, kid? I'm feeling good, Captain. But I'm worried about 2 3. That's good, because I'm sending you in to catch up with Rhino 2 1. We're trying to get the Sulaco flight recorder so we can see who caused this. Sir, what happened in there? Let me shit the bed. Attention, chicks and dicks of the USS Sephora! As of right this second, Rhino 2-1 and Rhino 2-3 are fighting to get a hold of the situation we're in. We don't leave Marines behind. Over the next two hours, we're gonna send a series of dropships over to aid with Kazavak on the USS Sulaco. Sir, the Sulaco was reported last seen over Fury 161. How is it back over this planet? Lieutenant Reed, thanks for the interruption. We don't know how that boat got back here. Right now, we're worried about what's killing our Marines in there. This is a liquid situation. Information to follow as it comes online. Ready up. Good hunting, Marines. Oorah to Ash! Oorah! Listen up. What I need right now is information. No heroics, no bullshit. I need you to be my eyes in there. Report back anything you see so I know what I'm up against. Roger that. Tell Rhino 2-1 I'm en route to their location. Oh, the charges! It's the hot. We're in the pipe. Five by fuck! Good to see you all in one piece, O'Neill. Good to see you? You wanted to leave him out here to die. Bo, oh, what are you talking about? We... disagreed. She tried to pull rank and leave you for dead. Look, everyone calm down. I was scared. I'm just a pilot, but as lieutenant, I have to make a call. We don't leave Marines behind. That supersedes rank. Hey! Can we not do this out here? Bella, we cannot risk the lives of multiple Marines to save one. We understand what you're going through, but it's hard to trust someone who won't be alive in a few hours. Fuck did you just say to me? You know, I was gonna save this last bullet for myself. Whoa! It's fine! It's fine! We're fine! Just put it down, Bella! Bella, put it down. You just pointed a gun at a superior officer. Last I checked, your orders were to put one in your skull should the time. Stop come. it! Just let's get back to operations, alright? God damn it, you two! Salako Actual, this is Winter. We've recovered a few Marines after getting the comm tower up. On our way back to you, over. We're falling apart. I understand that our circumstances are exceptional. I lost 300 of my people in the last day, so take me at my word when I tell you I'm feeling this too. Reed, Bella, Bury this shit and move on. Permission to- Shut up. You made the right call and you know it. And we're done talking about it. You two, front and center. So these two lunkheads come to me to authorize what amounts to a suicide mission into the heart of the Way U facility to try and extract that thing from your chest. We're spread thin as it is. Too many Marines unaccounted for. Sir, if you'll just listen to what- But I'm authorizing it. On one condition. Sir? There's a manifest of all personnel in the facility. 
Send that back first. Then go get that thing out of Bella. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. There's a stable of Hadley's surface crawlers. Take one, and make sure you come back alive. All of you. Permission to accompany them on the mission, sir. Denied. I want to go. And I want my pilot to stay alive and get a hundred Marines back off this planet. This is not a conversation we're having. Look, you don't owe us nothing. Just get everyone else out of here so we can take down Wei Yu. Just stay out of the way. Why'd you stop? I can't drive any further on this terrain. The dust alone has gunked up the cylinder so bad we're barely moving. We walk. You make a fucking sound, and your brains are what they find in the garbage tomorrow. Not if you understand, asshole. Bell, lie down on the table. She had a... She had one of those face huggers. It left a baby one in her chest. How, how do you get it out? You, 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 you can't. Wrong answer. Please, 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 please. Trust me. We've tried to extract the gestated life form. O'Neil, oh, just let him speak. That's okay. The, the embryo will extract fluid and nutrients from the host to construct a placenta, but it, it, it's not like a human's. The placenta is like a weed rooting itself into every organ in the chest cavity. Look, even if you could surgically remove the embryo, the placenta is... it's like a cancer. Your organs will begin shutting down one by one, and then... you just... you just die. Winner, knock him out. Oh, Neil. I can't. Is it hot in here? Hey. Hey, Mel. Hey, Nugget. It's okay. Just... Close your eyes. You get that Marine? You promised... Get everyone off the planet. Oorah to Ashes, Mel. Oorah to... Our agreement. Something's wrong. They look pissed as shit at you. Do they have a reason to be? Yep. Who is he? Son, be careful about what you do next. Did you know about the Manifest? You were gonna go either way. Did you know that Bella was gonna die, no matter what? <sighs> yes. And you knew it too. Son, there wasn't a force in hell that was gonna stop you guys from going in and trying anyway. Put it down. Lower it. We just risked our lives to get this guy out of the way you facility. Let's ignore the lion for a second. Why the hell was this Marine so important to you? What happened on the Sulaco? Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me! Get that bag off that soldier now. Who the fuck is that? Oh, great. Back here. I'm Corporal Hicks from the USS Sulaco. I've been held under duress for months by Waylon Yutani. He wanted information. Bishop? Are you alive? Different Bishop. How the hell are you alive, Hicks? 
Your file was closed KIA 14 weeks ago. We're here because we responded to your distress call. Wish you had. What information did you give them, Corporal? Stuff they're gonna figure out anyway. Enough to keep me alive without saying much. Captain, who did we bring back? We found out about Hicks when it was already too goddamn late. I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in fuck any of you were coming back alive. I'm sorry about Bella. You have no idea. They had a prisoner in that facility for weeks. Wei Yu has an FTL ship on the planet. Now I got a duty to the other hundred Marines to get him off this rock. Then you better hurry, sir. Last FTL leaves soon and it ain't coming back. You know the FTL schedules? I know a lot more than that. Sir, we have two squads of Marines inbound, coming in hot. What? There's more than a hundred Xenos heading right for Hadley's Hope. In about 30 seconds, that horizon is gonna turn black as the most dangerous killing machines in the universe rise up over it. I can tell you ain't the type of lad that fancies being important or valuable, but you don't get to decide that. You and my pilot are the most important Marines we have, and right now, get your ass out of here. Go! Looks like you'll fit right in, you insubordinate son of a bitch. You didn't specify which direction to drive the APC, sir. So, how are you alive if you don't mind too much my asking? What happened on Fury 161? Guess we're skipping the softball questions. We left LV-426 and sent out a distress call. A call you all responded to. Near Fury, the ship went into alert, and I was pulled out of cryo as the ranking and only Marine. The ship was on alert because Michael Whalen's PMCs illegally boarded the ship. The four cryopods ejected safely, but I obviously wasn't in mine. So, whose body was in your cryotube? That's a longer story. I care about one thing, taking these guys down. That's all I got left, guys. Let's get to it. Floor is yours, sir. We're all colonial marines here. I wake up in the morning thanking baby Jesus for every day I'm in the Corps. So I'm gonna be good goddamned if I let Wayland yutani take that away from me. Now we don't have an FTL ship to get all of us back off planet. But they do. And how long we got before the last boat comes in? Comes in tonight. They're packing up for good. We take this ship or we don't leave. It's the only chance we're gonna get. I have 63 active United States Colonial Marines. And we're gonna take that facility. And then we're gonna take that ship. And we're gonna get everything we can to take this company and Michael Whalen down for all the shit they've put us through and taken from us. Hoorah to ashes, O'Neill. Hoorah, Captain. For the Marines we lost, guys! Once in the facility, I will supply geographical intel to all ground forces. Eyes up and identify all ground or air targets. Roger that, Raider! We move in quick and put down targets as fast as you can pull! Understood, Winter. Good hunting and save some for me. 6-5 out. This is Sulaco Actual. All ground units prepare for deployment. Here we go. How the hell do you plan on getting into that ship? I haven't figured that out yet! Right now would probably be a pretty fucking good time! I know! Bishop, what if I blow the doors? Likely it will close up inside to prevent a hull breach. What? That's the plan? We got no other options. We need to be inside before we breach that boat. Reed, do it! Weapons hot! Two away! Brace for impact! Good hunting. 
Clamps disabled. Engine spooling. Godspeed, Captain. The this bitch can fly. That's what. Did any of that really just happen? Show off. On the other side of this door is Michael Whalen. The reason we're all here. We lost the Sulaco flight recorder. Wayu destroyed everything at the facility. We need him alive, and we need everything he knows. Agreed? O'Neill, I need you on this one, man. We can get these guys. Now wait, 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 before you shoot me, wait, just wait! Do you even know? Do you even know what you take away? Please, 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 don't do this. I'm just the face that runs the company. O'Neill, think about what you're doing. I'm done thinking. We got him, man. Just put the gun down. I can't do that. Someone has to pay for this. For crews. For keys. For all the ones we lost. For her. Don't make me say her name. If anyone says her name, I swear to God, I will blow his head the fuck off! Please don't shoot. Do not speak to me, you sack of shit! Can I speak with you then? Bishop, get the hell out of the way, man! No. I'm not playing around, Bishop. If you don't move, I will shoot right through you. No, you won't, because Bella wouldn't watch you. I said don't say her name! Bella. O'Neill, shoot him. Hicks, what? What the hell, man? O'Neill, you're supposed to shoot him. This is how it's supposed to happen. Stand down, Corporal! Don't do it, O'Neill. Oh, thank you for not killing me. Oh, my God. I just shot your guy. We needed him! Look again. That wasn't the real Wayland? Negative, Corporal. What? How did you know that wasn't the real Wayland? You said we need to find out what he knows? Thirteen weeks and four days they had me. Spent hours a day in a room, torture after torture. Some days I could barely take it. But when there's only two of you in the room, you notice when the other guy ain't breathing. Why not keep him alive? Because he would kill every one of you the first chance he got. That's its function. Bishop? I can download any data he has. This is a special model. We might get lucky. What do you need, Bishop? Clear a space and find a scalpel. Is this... dangerous? There are tubes in my brain. Dumb question. Incredibly sorry. You ready, Bishop? It's already downloading. Please give me a moment, Winter. Is... is this gonna work? It'll work. How do you know? You lost a girl too, right? Yeah. Me too. It has to work. Bishop, are you okay? Please tell me we got something. Anything. We really need a win here, man. Got everything.
final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. See it. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74. Tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. This is the Torrin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depression. 
pressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Where'd you come from? Ripley! Off station. A ship. There's no ships! Here! There are now. Well, <laughs> that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place! I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? You seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. How do I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? I hear something. I hear something. Axel? What have I got on me? It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it! Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people! That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature? It's a life form, a, an unknown type, some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make- Ripley, Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Belay. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. 
This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to state. I have been placed under duress with regards to the compromise patient zero. And Ransom, Seekson's head of operations, he, he made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God, God. that woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley. From the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go! report personal message this is for my daughter hi Amanda I'm recording this for you my sweetheart and I hope you get to hear it one day you see I um I got into trouble um my ship there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart.
And so it began. This tragedy of two worlds. This epic fall of rise of men and monsters. This story of power, revenge, and unnatural love. The devil had broken the laws of its own kind. It had made its presence known to its prey in a devastating and humiliating way. And worse, it had survived the exposure. We now know that these creatures are nomadic, bound by strict clan loyalties, unbreakable taboos. Disgrace and exile were all this one could expect. simply ends. The events of that sweltering night in June sent ripples through time. Because in its long absence, we humans had dissected the hunting tools our devil dropped in its haste. And using what we learned, we made ourselves masters of a technology unknown on Earth. We created the weapons of our own that we turned against the devils when next they came hunting in the hot season. So they sent it back to atone for the sins of its past and take from us what we had stolen. Back to a city grown from the shattered ruins it had left behind. A city of tomorrow overseen by computer intelligence, driven by advanced alien technology and ruled by a dynasty of crime. What once was Nui City blossomed into Neonopolis, City of Light. April 2025. It's hard to believe that I'm still here recording this. <laughs> U.S. Army veteran, Special Ops Commander, and the only survivor of the Valverde incident. These tapes are my personal testimony. I'm not dead yet. My name is Dutch, and this is my story. Came here with a mission. Let's finish it. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Hunt or be hunted.